Hello folks and welcome to my mad channel. I have received a package from Roy Barrett as you see in his collection the other day and I'm going to show you what was in that package in just a minute or two. But before I do that I just want to have a quick thought process to myself about YouTube. Now I decided that I was going to make, you know, videos a bit more frequently. And I think the YouTube gods, or whoever it is that controls that, like that. Because my latest videos seem to have done pretty well. So in that tradition, I thought I would try and continue the run by making another video today. And I say, luckily for me, a package came from Roy. I've also got one from Larry Boyd, but I will show that package in another episode so i say i was just talking a little bit about the youtube gods there and my uh, channel seems to have picked up nine subscribers in the last uh you know five or six days which is because i went down to 599 and then i went up to 609 but this is not what you're here for for the move by channel this is just my thoughts so let's see what is in the package that Roy sent me. I've actually disposed of the box because it has a dress on it. And uh, Roy, you packaged that up really well, didn't you? I, I was like struggling to get <laughs> You should have seen me fighting with the black tape. <laughs> so thank you uh, for that. It was well packaged. Uh, beats Amazon packaging, that's for sure, because I just watched AJ's Walking Dead series 11. He just arrived and uh, honestly, didn't even send it in a box, but there you go. Oh, I've got juice here too. Have a wee drink. So, first of all, Roy found two of these in the chat shop. And he says, would you like one? I said, yes. And it is the Danish release of the Wild One uh, with Marlon Brando. Now, I've never seen or heard of this film. But it looks like it was one of the universal releases in the... Uh, you know that that nice white slip collector's edition. And this is the slim, the slim one. So as you can see, I think Roy's left a sticker on it that he paid what he paid for that pound, which was great. So it says new item, yes, it does. So it, I can't tell you what this film's about because it doesn't tell you on the back. All I know is it looks like a biker gang movie. So I will look forward to watching that one. Just try to see through the pictures if I can get any. idea what it's about. Nope. <laughs> so Roy might have watched it and if Roy has he might want to do a little uh, movie review and the, we were thinking about doing a little segment on my channel where Roy reviews Masters of Cinema so we thought that might be good. I'm really I really get thinking when I'm in a different location because I don't know how the hang camera angles and all that for the video as you can see I'm sitting in my son's chair <laughs> and the reason I'm sitting through here in this different location is because there's a lot of noise in the other room so I thought I would do this through here oh next one classic and I just rewatched this again recently and rewatched the twist and it's Michael Douglas in the game really really enjoy this movie because he doesn't, he really, really thinks he's, his, his reality was to what's happened and what would happen. So, yeah, sorry, I should talk about that a little bit more. So, Michael Douglas gets a present for his birthday from his brother. And it's a game experience. Like no other. But it starts to, to turn to real. And he thinks he's in... It's not a game, but is it a game or is it not? That's a twist. So there is an arrow release of this, but I've actually been looking for this for a wee while. And, I, and Roy uh, put it up and says, I found this in the charity shop for 50p, couldn't pass it up. And I thought, definitely can't pass it up because I, I believe he's already got it. Correct me if I'm wrong. I didn't know that either. Who's the director of this one? David Fincher, because it's the same guy who directed Fight Club and Seven. 
that makes sense now because they have got twists in them as well. And I enjoy both of them. What's the first rule about Fight Club? Already broke it. And what's in the box? <laughs> so really, really enjoy that one. So that's two that he sent me, but there is more box goodiness to come. And the next one, he asked me if I, if I, if I wanted, because I think he had a double bar, or he found this in Charity Shop too, and that's the Long Kiss Goodnight. And I do want this one. I've not seen this for a very, very long time. My memory of it is faded, to say the least. But I remember it being good. And it says, Gina Davis stars as, as Samantha, a woman whose fading amnesia reveals she had a secret, I, I remember this, secret life as an elite government assassin. Samuel L. Jackson portrays the low lent detective, helping her unlock the secrets. It's hmm. a nice discard on that one too. Oh, also, I probably can't see this. I told you I'm way, way, way worried about the camera angles here, but there you go. The Long Kiss Goodnight, Regina Davis and Samuel L. Jackson. Before I go to the next one, I'll talk to you about... Uh, while I was doing some decasing yesterday, and I say I have made a video on that, and about my messy collection, and I've got bits for it, so I'm going to do it once my collection's nice and tidy. And I was, as I, while I was doing that, I decided to watch Captain Marvel. I haven't finished the movie yet because I didn't get quite finished it. But people say it's a terrible movie, that one. But so far, I found it pretty good. I enjoyed it. Hmm. Maybe I'll change my mind when I see the end. I should watch that tonight. I think I will. Oh, and he, I did, he didn't tell me he was sending me this one. And it's one of the Transformers movies in 4K. I don't know where he got this one from. Transformers The Last Night includes bonus disc over 90 minutes of special features, 4K HD and Blu-ray bonus disc. I actually just watched the first Transformers uh, the other night there as well because I felt that was probably the best one. It's got Dolby Atmos in it. Dolby Vision as well. So I imagine this looks pretty good. But I'm going to be honest with you, the last time I seen this film, I didn't like it. But that doesn't mean that I don't appreciate the gift. And if you're going to watch the Transformers movies, you do watch them all in a row, don't you? I say, from director Michael Gray and executive producer Steven Spielberg comes the best Transformers yet. Our world's greatest heroes become our fiercest enemy and opposite Swiss Prime launches a mission to save Cybertron. Tell you what, I imagine it looks good though. So again, thank you very much for that, Roy. Appreciate it. And I'm going to talk a little bit about CEX on this one. CEX prices fluctuate immensely. They really do. Uh, I had this one in my basket because I wanted to buy it. And it was sitting at £4 in my basket. And I thought, ah, oh, I've got plenty of time, I'll get it. Then it went up to £6, then it went up to £8, then it went up to £10, then it went back to £8 and back down to 6 All in the space of four weeks. When I was at £10, I was saying, how can it go from 4 to 10 And that led the time. But Roy said he had the movie and he didn't think he was going to rewatch it, so he would send me it anyway, which is much appreciated. Because this isn't what he had a doubler off. Uh, this one was one in his collection. It's a movie that I actually really, really enjoy. And that is Cinderella Man with Russell Crowe and René Zellweger. <laughs> and if you've seen this movie, you know what it's about. Well, it's the obvious, James, yeah. <laughs> right, so if, you, if you've seen this movie, I can talk about it. If you haven't, you're probably better skipping this section. But that doesn't mean you can't come back at the end. So, basically, Russell Crowe plays Jim Braddock, a boxer who's doing okay, doing okay. He's having a nice life. He's got investment stocks, things like that, and he's and he and he's, you know, going away, 
gone good doing away and he's doing pretty well for himself. And then the depression hits and he loses all his investments, just like a lot of people did in the 1930s depression. They lost all, everything. And he finds himself fighting, but he's aging. And he breaks his hand. And he loses his boxing licence. And he ends up virtually, you know, well, in poverty, fighting for every meal, no got any money for the kids. And he loses his, he loses a, he, everything he's got and he, and he gets his electric cut off. And his kids are so cold that they have to get sent away. And he get manages by begging, basically begging, to get the money to get the electric back on. But his promoter uh, comes back and say, says, I found your fight. Because this, nobody will take this guy on at short, short notice. But you get paid two hundred and fifty dollars, and he does it. So he shows he shows up to the fight. He sold his gloves. He sold his boots. He sold everything, and because he, he didn't have any money, and so he has to borrow everything. And basically, he's gonna he's he's just in there to get a leather in, basically, an absolute leather in for this guy. And the best scene in it is where his stomach growling, and he goes. And, 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 and the promoter's going, what is that? And he goes, because that's my stomach. He goes, there was no soup in the soup kitchen this morning. So he's trying to fight without having anything to eat. So he manages to eat something just before he goes into the ring. And surprisingly, he wins the fight and things go on from there. I really do like watching this movie because there's a bit when it when he's when he's boxing and it's not like he wants to do it for himself, he wants to do it so his kids aren't in poverty. You know, and I, I you know as a father you can understand that. You don't want to you don't want your kids uh, wanting for things, shall we say. And this is pro I really, really like this one. a good movie this one so if you haven't seen it and you want to get want a good i think it's a feel good movie watch this in the nail man i thoroughly recommend it and now i have it in my collection thanks to roy so that is my short review on it's in the nail man i will show you all the, the movie goodness that Roy sent me, and I thank you very much. And Roy, I do have a few to send you that I've, I've said I'll send you, and I will get them to you. I, I will get them to you. I'm just terrible at posting stuff. <laughs> so there you go. So how about that? And I will try to make another video and show the other two that Larry sent me tomorrow. No promises though. <laughs> right, I'll see you next time guys. Thanks very much.